All right, so jumping straight into one of the first things that you're going to need to do is understand exactly what Google AdSense actually is. Now, I'm sure that most of you have probably heard the term AdSense before, but I would estimate that maybe 50% of you watching this video don't really understand exactly how it works. Now, AdSense is simply a program that Google started as a way to share the revenue that they make from all of the different advertising methods that are out there. And to give you a bit more clarity as to what I'm talking about, if you're not aware, we've got things like Google Google shopping ads, display ads, Google search ads. There's a wide variety of different ads out there that various different individuals and businesses are paying for on a daily basis. And Google simply set up the AdSense program as a way to share the revenue with the creators that are allowing the ads to be published either on their YouTube videos or on their websites. And this now brings me on to one of the initial things that I want to point out, which is that the two main ways that you can make money with Google AdSense is either by starting starting a YouTube channel or by building some sort of blog website, product review website, or some sort of information website. So I'm sure that most of you by now understand that whenever you see an ad being played on a YouTube video, the person that owns that channel is earning a portion of that ad revenue. But most of you probably don't realize that you can earn a similar income if you was to build a website where you don't necessarily need to show your face on camera. And that's what I'm going to be primarily focusing on in today's video. I'm going to be breaking down the steps that you need to go through when it comes to building a website and putting yourself in a position where you can earn a passive source of income with Google AdSense. But this actually now brings me on to one of the first steps that you need to take, which is of course, make sure that you're building the right type of website. Now, when I say right type of website, realistically, any website that you wanna build, you're gonna be able to monetize it with Google AdSense, but there's some key things that you need to think about, e.g. the type of website that you build, depending on the niche, is gonna have an effect on how much money you're gonna be able to earn. Reason being is because not every single niche when it comes to a website pays the same. Some niches pay a lot higher, however, others tend to pay a lot lower. So this is definitely one of the initial things that you wanna think about when it comes to what your site is gonna be centered around. You wanna make sure that you're at least picking a high paying niche that meets the three Ps. And for those of you that are new to this channel, when I say three Ps, I'm talking about the popularity of the niche, as well as making sure that it is a profitable niche. And of course, making sure that you've got passion when it comes to the website that you're going to build. If you're able to meet these three different criterias and meet these three different Ps, then this is a great starting point. But to give you an idea of the different niches out there that tend to pay a lot higher than others, it's gonna be things like online business, making money online, personal finance, investing, cryptocurrency, credit cards, health and beauty, tech reviews, travel, anything realistically that has something to do with health, wealth, love, and happiness. If you're able to center your website around that, making sure that you've got passion about the topic that you're going to go into, this is a recipe for success. But once you have thought about whatever the niche is going to be about, the next thing, of course, is to take the steps to building your website. Now, one of the key things that you need to make sure that you do is brand your website around that particular niche so that whenever someone lands on your site, they automatically know what your website is about. Doing it this way is obviously great for the visitors that land on your site because it provides some sort of clarity, but it's also good for Google because it's going to allow them to have a clear understanding of exactly what your niche is, which is going to help them when it comes to paying you accurately. To give you guys a simple example of what I'm talking about, if you head over to www.successwithbusiness.com, this is my website and straight away from the domain and just the branding of the site, I'm sure that all of you can automatically know what the site is about. Of course, it's a website where I'm releasing articles to help people have success with their online business. There's no confusion when it comes to the people that are landing on my site, as well as Google knowing exactly what my site is about. So this is the mindset that you guys need to have. But once you've decided on all of this, one of the next steps that you're going to need to take is to obviously build out your website. Now, this isn't really a simple process. It's not necessarily gonna take a long time. It might take you a day, maybe a day and a half to get your website fully built. But one of the tips that I want to give you is to make sure that you get a WordPress hosted website and one of the platforms that you can use is Hostinger. This is the one that I normally recommend to beginners that are looking to earn money with Google AdSense. Reason being is because you're going to be able to get started for fairly cheap. As you can see, if you click the link in my description down below, you're going to be able to pay as little as $2.49 per month and you're going to be able to get two months for completely free. So the cost of getting your website up and running isn't really that much and once you have created your account, as you guys can see over 
over here, you're gonna be able to claim a completely free domain. And the actual process to getting your actual website built isn't difficult as well, because once you've claimed your domain, all you need to do is click on start now, then click on create a new website. You can either then use the AI website builder, or if you wanted to use a WordPress website, which is something I would normally recommend, all you need to do is click on WordPress just like this, and then go through the process from here. But once you've gone through the process of building your website, one of the next steps that you need to be aware of is that you're gonna have to start publishing articles. Now, I would advise that you publish at least 10 to 15 articles once you build your website. Of course, you wanna do that over a period of time. Maybe publish those 10 or 15 articles in a three week period, but you wanna make sure that you're publishing high quality articles on your website that relate to your chosen niche on your website as soon as you build it, because this is gonna help you hit the ground running. And it's one of the key things that you need to do for you to be able to, of course, earn Google AdSense payments. Now, some of the tips that I wanna give you guys when it comes to writing articles is firstly, make sure that each article is minimum 1000 words. I would say keep it between 1000 to around 2000 words per article. This is the ideal length that you wanna keep it when it comes to giving yourself the chances of being ranked on the first page of Google. And you of course wanna make sure that you're focused on Google SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. And this simply involves you using the right keywords throughout your article, because the way that it works is that Google is going to scan your website, they're gonna scan your articles, and it's going to allow them to know exactly who to show those articles to. But above all of that, I would say that the most important thing is to ensure that you're providing value and ensure that you're writing articles in terms of what people are actively searching for. There's no point wasting your time producing articles where no one cares about whatever you're writing about. You wanna make sure that at least people are actively searching for it. And there's a number of different tools that you can sign up to, various different SEO softwares that are gonna be able to help you with this part of the process. But just to kind of keep it simple, one of the free and basic ways that you can figure out what to write your articles about is simply by going onto Google just like this. And then from here, Google's gonna be able to show you what people are searching for. So using my site as an example, successwithbusiness.com, of course, it's a site that helps people with their online businesses. So what I might wanna type in is how to start an online business. And all of these different suggestions that are popping up are essentially what people all around the world are searching for, e.g. how to start a business with no money, how to start an online business for free, how to start an online business as a teenager. These are going to be similar things that I'm going to write articles about because I know that they've got a higher chance of ranking on the first page of Google. Not only that, I know that people are interested in these topics because this is what they're searching for. So during this stage, you just wanna make sure that you understand and do research into the key things that you need to do when it comes to writing the best articles that people are searching for, that people care about, and that they're gonna get value from. But once you've gotten to the point where you've built your website, it's well designed, you've started publishing articles on it, one of the next most important steps and what this video is obviously about is signing up for an AdSense account. Now, the reason why you don't wanna do this before you build your website is because you're going to need your domain when it comes to you applying for an AdSense account for Google to either accept you or decline you. So you wanna make sure that you've put some sort of effort into your site for at least three weeks, maybe a month to build up some sort of traction so that when they go over to your site, they're gonna be able to see something. And the way that you can sign up for an AdSense account is simply by going over to adsense.google.com. And this is gonna be a similar page to what you're going to see. Now, of course, from this point, all you're going to do is click on get started. And then from this point, all you're going to do is simply insert your domain over here. Then what you need to do is select whichever country you're currently living in and then click on start using AdSense. Now, one important point that you guys need to be aware of is that when it comes to registering for a Google AdSense account, they only give it to one person and you're gonna be able to use that one Google AdSense account for all of your different websites, all of your different YouTube channels. You're not able to open up multiple different AdSense accounts. So you wanna make sure that you treat it with respect because if you end up getting banned or restricted, you're not gonna be able to open up another one, especially if you violated some sort of terms of service. In addition, in addition to that, when you do go through the sign up process, you wanna make sure that you validate all of your details. They may ask you to validate your address and they're also going to ask you to potentially validate your identification. And you wanna try and get this out of the way as early as possible. The longer that you delay it, all that's gonna happen is that you're potentially gonna get your account restricted once you start earning money. And that's gonna be somewhat of a headache when it comes to you trying to get your payments released. But of course, once you do get to the stage over here, you're just gonna to need to follow through 
with the entire sign up process. I'm going to be making a step by step video showing you everything you need to be aware of when it comes to actually building a site from scratch and then linking it to a AdSense account. I don't necessarily want to mess up my own AdSense account by showing you today, but I'm going to be making a dedicated video on this topic. So make sure that you press the like button and subscribe down below so that you don't miss that future video. But this now brings me on to one of the next steps that every single one of you, if you're a beginner needs to know is that you need to make sure that you're consistent. Now, when I say consistent, I'm specifically talking about publishing articles on your site. You don't want to make the mistake of, let's say, publishing two articles this week and then maybe not publishing articles for the next two months and then trying to publish five articles for that week and then quitting again and then starting again because, of course, this is going to make your money inconsistent. For you to build up a steady stream of traffic, go into your website. You want to try and stick to some sort of a schedule. Now, at the moment, I'm currently releasing, I believe, four to around six different articles per week. And this is something that I try and do with all of the different sites that I'm I'm running and I'm managing because the more consistent I am, the more Google is going to show my website to more people. And of course, the more people that come onto my website, it's going to allow me to earn a steady stream of income through Google AdSense, as well as various different methods. Even just taking a look at all of the articles that me and my team are publishing on this site, as you can see, every couple of days or so, a brand new article is coming out. And because I've made sure to be consistent with this site as well as the other ones, that's the reason why I've been able to get multiple different articles ranked on Google and get thousands and thousands of people coming onto my site, which has allowed me to monetize in a number of different ways, which actually brings me on to one of the next points that I want to talk about, which is to not only just rely on Google AdSense. So one of the beauties of starting a website is that, of course, you're going to be able to earn a passive source of income from Google AdSense every single month. But at the same time, there's a number of different ways that you can make money with a website. Most beginners tend to just focus on Google AdSense, but you can also earn money from selling, let's say your own digital product, as well as doing something called affiliate marketing, where you don't necessarily even need to build a product yourself. All you're simply gonna do is link articles within your website to affiliate products that again, you don't own, and you're gonna be able to earn an affiliate commission. I would probably say that this is one of the best ways to earn a source of income from a website, because you're gonna be able to promote as many companies that you want, and you're gonna be able to take a little bit more control over your income than what you would be able to do if you was just solely relying on Google AdSense. Now, if you wanted to get a little bit more information on exactly how this entire process works, you can head over to www.affiliatemarketingproject.com because over there, I've broken down all of the steps that I needed to know when it came to building all of my different websites and putting myself in a great position when it comes to earning affiliate commissions, even when I'm fast asleep. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from this guide because I show you everything that you need to know when it comes to building a website from scratch as a complete beginner click by click and I also show you everything you need to know when it comes to maximizing your potential to earn affiliate commissions. So if you want to check that out visit the website that's on the screen over here or you can click the first link in the description down below. And if you also wanted to watch another YouTube video that I made recently where I break down some other tips and tricks that's definitely going to help you when it comes to putting you on the path of being able to earn $100 per day over the next year then make sure you click the link over there. Check that out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and I'm sure that it's going to help you out too. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.